Concord first flew in 1969. 30 years later, she was still the world's only supersonic airliner. There had been many rivals to her crown, but they quickly faded away. And despite her age, she never failed to win new admirers. It was not just her awesome speed, but also her elegant, purposeful lines that stirred so many souls. But Concord's beauty was not the result of an artist's fertile imagination, but years of diligent scientific study and research that pushed back the boundaries of our understanding of flight. By March 1969, Concord was cleared for takeoff at last. At 1500 hours on March 2nd, 1969, in Toulouse, Chief Test Pilot Andre Turka released the brakes of Prototype 001. With engines on full reheat power, they made a thunderous, glorious noise. With the whole world watching, Concorde 001 and the hopes of a new Europe took to the air. Torka kept the undercarriage down for this first slow but vital flight. On the flight deck, every last detail of the prototype's performance was monitored and logged. It proved a perfect first flight. The world's most advanced, most exciting aircraft had flown at last. It made a perfect landing. From this moment on, André Tourcard's name rang around the world. In 1975, with Concord now in the production phase, the whole program got another big lift. Concord received its full certificate of airworthiness. <laughs> 